On February 14, 2024, on Valentine's Day, a shocking discovery was made in Redcliffe. A 75-year-old man and his 69-year-old wife were found brutally murdered in their home, which they had recently returned to from the UK. The victims were identified as Kenneth Petisai Chirashi and Lorna Taylor Chirashi, his wife. He was a retired engineer and she was a former nurse. They had been married for over 40 years and had three children and several grandchildren. The police were alerted to the crime by the couple's son, Mike, who lived in the UK and had tried to call his parents that morning. When he did not get an answer, he became worried and asked a neighbor to check on them. The neighbor found the doors locked and called the police who broke into the house and discovered the gruesome scene. Kenneth's body was lying in the living room with a deep cut on his forehead and a rope around his neck. Lona's body was in the bathroom with four deep cuts on her head. Both had been bludgeoned to death with a blunt object, possibly a hammer. The police quickly identified a suspect, Collins Jongwe, a 34-year-old mechanic who had worked for the Shirashis for several years. He had been seen driving away from the house that morning in the couple's silver Mercedes-Benz, which had no number plates. He was arrested later that day in Gokwe, about 200 kilometers away, after being stopped at a police checkpoint. He was found in possession of Kenneth's identity documents, mobile phone and bank cards. He also had blood stains on his clothes and injuries on his hands. The motive of the murder remains unclear, but the police suspect that Jongwe had planned to rob the couple, who were known to have a substantial amount of money and valuables in their house. They also believe that he had killed them after they recognized him and resisted his attack. Jongwe has not confessed to the crime, but the police say they have enough evidence to charge him with two counts of murder and robbery. The murder of the Chirashis has shocked and saddened the Radcliffe community, where they were well respected and loved by many. Their family and friends have described them as kind, generous, and devoted to each other. They had moved to the UK in 2010 to join their children, but had recently returned to Zimbabwe in January 2024 to visit their relatives and friends. They had planned to stay just a few months before going back to the UK. They had no idea that their trip would end in tragedy. The case of the Chirashi murder is one of the most horrific and senseless crimes in the history of Redcliffe. It raises questions about the security and safety of the elderly and the vulnerable in our society. It also exposes the dark side of the human nature where greed and violence can overcome loyalty and compassion.